following program is sponsored by PokerStars.com. This week on The Big Game, the Italian loose cannon showed he wasn't your average amateur. The cannon would be, you might fall, I might fall, you Boom. might fall. And had some questioning if he was even from Rome. He was training with the Shaolong monks in Beijing. <laughs> but when Max's mystery was finally revealed. Hey, side. Two pair. Nice one. These pros began to change their tune. Now I'm wondering about some of my folds. You think? Tonight, see if the cannon recaptures their belief. No one can beat Max. Or has he lost his loyal followers forever? Who knows who's zooming who here? It all happens now. My day's coming. It's not going to be far off either, baby. Welcome to the big game from Las Vegas. Alongside Joe Stapleton, I'm Scott Huff as some of the best players in the world continue to go at it in our state-of-the-art poker room. And right now, there's more than three quarters of a million dollars in cold hard cash on the table. Bill Perkins, the businessman, has strict starting hand requirements. Each card must have a letter and or number written on it. He stuck over 70 dimes. Elkie is a tournament crusher who's used to winning millions at a time. So far this week, he's turned a modest profit. He's up a little over 12K. Amadario, I'm gonna win. The Italian's given back a sizable early profit, but the good news is that 200 bucks is several thousand lira. Phil Helmuth Jr. might be the best Hold'em tournament player of all time, but this is a cash game, so I hope you like the sound of bleeps. The loose cannon is Massimiliano Martinez from Rome, Italy. The 24-year-old student enjoys trying new foods, but says there's no substitute for Italian cuisine. He's preaching to the choir. I've got dominoes on speed dial. He's up over $84,000. The final player is the Unabomber, Phil Locke, who's been going back and forth along the break-even line all week long. Phil's currently down 8,300, and right now, he's with Amanda. Phil, pretty fun table out there this week, right? Give me your assessment of the table in 100 words or less. Go. Um, a lot of poker sessions get morphed into a theme of like what was happening that night and you could carry away the energy and tonight's theme I think is Max, it's the Max question, is he brilliant dancing on the edge of disaster or is he playing disastrously dancing on the edge of brilliance? I really hope I see a lot of strong hands when I see this show because if I see a lot of bluffs I'm going to just understand how and I still won't know, by the way, if no. it was Brilliance Dancing with Disaster or Disaster Dancing know. with Brilliant. But we'll think about it, and I'm going to send you back. Yeah. All right, good luck. The loose cannon is staked $100,000. He keeps all money above the initial one hundred dollars And the loose cannon, with the most money at season's end, earns a North American Poker Tour passport worth $50,000. What do you think, Elkie? Is he Brilliant Dancing on the Edge of Disaster, or is he Disaster Dancing on the Edge of Brilliance? What is it? What is it? Wow, the other. Yes, Elky. Good answer. It's one or the other. The leading loose <laughs> cannon is Gonzalez Cannon. Max will be looking to dance with that number as well. Maybe brilliant sword disaster or blunder, that earlier thing. I don't know. I think 150 hands is not enough to know. Probably right. By the other thing, Phil Locke now believes our loose cannon was trained in the Shaolin arts of poker in China. Locke out, two jacks in the hole for Perkins. <laughs> Limps. How often do you just sit down with a player that's just Great that some random guy that's great. Like, never. <laughs> I don't know, though. It's a new world. By the way, earlier in the week, in a behind the poker face, Phil said the loose cannon played horribly. Raises here. Like, never. So 21. Helm youth out. Action on Dario Minieri in the small blind. Typically, this would be a spot for a three bet if he was going to play this hand. Just calls. Elkie in the big blind with four deuce suited. Calls 1,700 more. Perkins with the chance to put the squeeze on. I raise the pot. 11-1 total. 11-1 total. Bill Perkins is here, folks. There it is. There you go. He's got it, Phil. Yeah. Perkins raises to 11,100. Back on the cannon. Joe, why is he reaching for chips? Because he's about to put the loose in loose cannon. He flat calls 9,000 with Jack 8, and Dario and Elkie are quickly out. Loose as a goose. And off to the mat they go, oh, boys. Oh, boy. What the heck is going on here? I have no clue. Story checks out. Heads up to the flop, 10, 9, 8, rainbow. This could get Max in trouble. He's got bottom pair and he's open-ended. Perkins with an over pair, same straight draw. But he checks it. 
Surprising check. Let's see if Max gets aggressive. Sure, Perkins isn't folding. No, he checks behind. Two surprising checks in this three-bet pot. Ace of clubs on the turn. Perkins not skirt of that ace, makes it 15,000. Coming out swinging, but I don't think Max can or should fold a pair in a straight draw. And he calls. Even though we know he's drawing pretty thin to an outright win. To the river. Nine of clubs, no help to Max. Sort of a scare card for both players. Perkins checks it. We've seen Max get real aggressive in spots like this before, and we haven't seen him give up much at all. Waves the white flag. Aces, sir? Huh? Aces? No. I have jacks. No good. Perkins will take down a pot worth 57K. You took you had an ace and you were... I, I thought I missed the bet. I was like, what the hell? I, I, I flop open under straight, yep. over the top pair of open under straight. I, I, I got too fancy on him. Because I, I, I swore you were going to fire. Swore it. So the loose cannon drops over 26K, but it could have been worse. As we take a look at the rules of the big game, each table lasts exactly 150 hands. The action pre-flop is pot limit, then no limit after the flop. The blinds are two and 400 with a $100 ante, all of which is paid by the player on the button. And every player begins with at least $100,000, but can rebuy for up to 500K. Kyle was so sick, he checked the river and he slammed his hand down like he had aces full. Yeah. <laughs> no, and no. Every pro, every pro sitting there and go, aces full, right? No. Like no, I don't think jacks. that's what he was doing. I think he think he was losing. Yeah. I think he was complaining because he didn't bet the flop and the ace came. I think he lost. I thought I lost. I thought he checked his ace. I thought he might have like a, a, a weak ace. He was complaining ace, because you know he didn't bet the flop, uh, catching up with makes ace. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, I'm sorry. I, I'm... Folds to Minieri. Speaking of aces, Hey, it's a a a. <laughs> Minieri raises it up to 1100. Elky out. Action on lock in the small blind with queen nine of diamonds. Calls. The postmortem made me confused too. I thought, oh, he was gonna snap call because he knew it was a bluff. That's what I thought. He was angry. Like, no. if you bet, I would have called. Okay, now I get. It. I was like, my reads are off tonight, guys. I mean. <laughs> All right. Well, now that that mystery solved. Flop. Eight king four. Couple of spades. Lock checks. Even though I won, it was like, what the hell. Perkins with middle pair, checks. Dario should see bet here since that's exactly what they're all expecting, and this time he's got the goods. Dario bets 2,300, back on lock. Who just picked a bad time to raise, makes it 5,500. Lock getting a little spewy and a little bluffy at the wrong time. Perkins is done with it. Back on Dario. Spoiler alert, he's not folding. The smooth call. Dario just calls. Locks raising range is pretty polarized, so if you raise, you chase away a bluff, or you put more money in a pot where you're in bad shape. Turn pairs the board, eight of clubs. Locks the first to act, and now the last aggressor. Still with complete air, bets 10-2. A pair and a flush draw just turned into trips, but any other semi-bluffs missed. And Minieri calls. Not too much for Dario to be afraid of, but he may want Phil to keep firing on the river which is seven of diamonds. Pretty much only the five, six gut shot came in. Let's see if Phil keeps firing or decides to give it up. I check. He checks. Looks like Phil has given up. If Dario value bets, I see very little chance of him being called. 21. He'll try, bets 21K. <sighs> Dario is the best. Dario is the best. Dario's hoping Phil has a hand like Ace King. The only question is how long this speech lasts before Phil folds. I am officially folding to Dario. Dario wins the money. Dario. Show love, Dario. I can't show my cards. You have to show. Uh, you have to she show. said, she you said. Amanda said no, you have to show. I have to show? Yes. Don't do it. That's Italian poker pro Luca Pagano watching on with Amanda. Dario shows the bullets. Ah. Did he show? Aces. What? It's amazing the things these guys do for a blonde in a figure skating outfit. And Dario adds 19K in profit. It's the first time you ever had anything all day, Dario. <laughs> yeah, first I... time. There's a first time for everything, including our first commercial break of the night. Don't go away, folks. The big game's just taking off. Dario, I believe, has a microchip in him, just like me. 
there's so many times where I realize, oh my God, he's thinking like me. What is going on? Or he'll say something and I'm like, then I'll trap myself and he'll catch me in a, in a fib and I'm like, no one can do that. He's just doing it. Thank God he's on my right, you know? He's very talented and very fast player. But I mean, I know he's always pushing, pushing, pushing. So someone like that is dangerous because they're willing to make big bluffs. I think my reputation is I'm aggressive, but I think I switch a lot my game. I adapt myself to the table, or, or at least that's what I try to do. Well, so far, Dario leads the table with both a three-bet percentage of 18 and a PFR of 28, thus confirming what most people already know. Dario loves pushing the action, and he's up 13-9 in the process. Dario says he adapts himself to the table. I'll say, before arriving here today, Dario had never spoken one word of English. <laughs> action will start here on Phil Helmuth with 9-7 offsuit. Limps again. Phil's been limping around all week. Hasn't really worked out for him so far, but he should probably keep trying. King Trey of Diamonds for Minieri. Raises to 1100 over to Elke. Folds. Locke, who just got caught bluffing. I played that hand poorly. Calls. In I so get many unstuck. Ways. I get off the tilt juice. Hard to get off that tilt teat. 6-8 <laughs> for the cannon. And he's going to defend. Pretty loose, but decent pot odds. Phil's got a call now. And he does. Four-way action to the flop. Seven kings, seven rainbow. Helmuth hits trips. I meant to say Phil Helmuth's a genius. <laughs> Martinez checks and Helmuth checks. Dario's got top pair and he had the pre-flop betting lead. This could get ugly for him. Bet's 2,600. Lock is out. Martinez out. For Helmuth, this is probably a spot to just call. It would be easy to chase away action on such a dry board, even though we know Dario wouldn't fold top pair. Even a call would look pretty strong here, though. There is the strong-looking call from Phil. We'll see a turn. King of spades, boat for Dario. I don't know a lot of Italian poker terms, so I'm just going to go ahead and say, go! Check from Helmuth. Really, really tear a bad card for Phil. Especially since this looks like such a great card for Dario to keep barreling on. Minieri bets 5,300. Almost impossible for Phil to get away since Dario has such an aggressive rep. And Phil will not get away, makes the call. Well, he's not drawing dead. I mean, he could hit quads. River, nine of spades, no quads for Phil, and Minieri's got it locked up. Totally inconsequential card. Phil checks. How big will Dario's value bet be? $17,200 worth. Nearly a pot size value bet. A lot of players would feel forced or frustrated into calling here, but great players, they fold here sometimes. Oh, man. That's only sometimes. Let's see if Phil can get away. Calls. King, I only play the nuts like you, buddy. Dario wins a $55,000 pot. If I have it. Oh, boy, that's going to be the one. It's just unreal what happens to me at this place. I mean, it's just, I'm just so sick of it, you know? I mean, I just I mean, I had the best on the turn, I had the best hand on the river. You guys have two outs every pot we yeah, play. Yeah, the best hand pre-flop. And I had the best hand pre-flop, unless you had yeah, a seven. nice hand, buddy. Thanks, Chief. I mean, what the f is going on in this place? They don't make what the f is going on in the river? How do you I call it? Always trips. take a bluff. I only wait for the nuts. Oh, please, Dario. You know, I mean, no. you just cooled me off. You hit a two-outer, and, you know, and now you're a genius. I, I mean, I just batted my end. I don't feel a genius. That was pretty dirty, but not Dario's fault. This has nothing to do with you. I, I mean, I, I, I know, you know, I, 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 I want to just trap you. I mean, I think you have two outs or you're drawing dead. So I just yeah, call. Yeah, but I'm not, uh, I'm not making this in bet if the other king theory. doesn't come. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you don't lose any more, right, right. You don't lose any more on the hand, right? Of course. Yeah. Chance for Dario to go back to back. He'll start the action here. What the are they doing to me? I mean, this is un Talk real. Talk is that you think I'm stupid. That's the only thing that makes me crazy. I'm not a good player, but I'm not stupid. Pocket queens for Dario. I wasn't going to put more money in that pot. Right, I know. I, know I mean, I'm not stupid. Weren't. I know once you call, you have one of this, one of these. I don't think you have sixes. Elkie calls the raise, lock folds. I didn't think he had sixes. 
You think he had sixes? No, no, no you don't. No. Me neither. Perkins calls 1100 with the six tray. Nice one, Bill. Martinez with King Deuce of Hearts folds. Helmuth with a four. Don't know what he's looking for. And an eight. Muck. It's just <laughs> unreal. Max, I mean, Jesus, every <laughs> time I come here, it's it's like, <laughs> run it four times and they win three. Just the weirdest. Just keeps happening. He's kind of got a point. I blame you, huh? <laughs> Seven, ten, six, rainbow. It's good to be Elky. He has the nut straight. They keep bailing the live one out. It's so sick. Not much chance. Dario will be bailed out on this one. He's gonna have to go runner, runner, quads, or full house. Minieri checks. Somehow he checks, giving up the lead, mixing up his player, playing a little paw control. And Elky bets twenty-seven hundred. No. Businessman's out. Can't believe I keep coming back to play this game. Please don't stop coming. There's no shot Dario can fold. He might be giving all Phil's money to Elky now. Minieri makes the call. Turn 10 of spades. That's a bit of a scare card for two queens. Minieri checks. I don't believe it. I mean, I just don't believe it. Phil's swearing so much it sounds like a heart monitor. <laughs> Elky still betting for value, it looks like. He wouldn't mind if Dario was calling with top pair. Makes it 7,700. And Minieri just calls. Still playing pretty cautiously. River, ace of clubs. Yet another stupid card for two queens. And Minieri checks. Last shot for Elky to get some value. He's really only worried about ace-10. He bets out 18-8. Can Dario get away? Elky's fired on every street. Look. Dario makes the correct laydown. Nice fold, Dario. Good fold. Thank you. Elky agrees with you, Stapes. Well, now is when Dario can get some advice from Phil H on how to handle getting your queens cracked. I'm not sure, but I think so. Uh, that's a good fold for sure. Phil, any words of advice? Mother I mean, it's just gonna keep hitting two hours on me. That'd be the one. Where the do they find these cards? Welcome back to the PokerStars.com big game where Phil Helmuth is still on major tilt watch, trying to shake off a bad beat at the hands of Dario a few hands ago. By the way, Phil's also still trying to shake off a bad beat from his 89 main event win, so this could take a while. Just because I love saying it, the businessman would do six. Oh boy. Calls 400. The old under the gun limp with the offsuit six high three gapper, plus EV play. Speaking of Phil's main event win, two nines. Oh! Party's over. Raises to 2,000. Action on Dario with 10-7 suited. Dario is in position. Three bets to 5,600. Dario knows Phil's steam. Now he's going after that wound. Ace queen for Elky. Elky knows Dario knows Phil is steamed as well. And he's out of position, so... Metagame dictates four bet. What? 13-3. Lock with deuce four, folds. That's just a stranger passing through town. I don't know. Just a stranger donating. <laughs> is this for real? I mean, what is it, 13-3? They put the Malachi Crunch on you. <laughs> the Crunch Brothers are here. So Malachi Crunch, if you can name the show that's from. Columbo. Uh, Happy Days. Bingo. You can guess my references. Ah, I confuse all those detective shows. <laughs> it's just a little scary. I mean, it really is. Phil's in a pickle. You probably just ship with these hands, huh? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he might be better, you know. Give him a big pair like that, he'd just ship it. Well, technically, you did just fold the best hand. Let's see how loose Dario wants to get. Just can't take it anymore. This is ridiculous. And Dario calls. Dario knows Elky knows he probably three bet Phil light. Plus, even if Elky does have a hand, Dario can maybe outplay him in position. Flop six for Jack. Pretty disappointing flop for both players, though. Elky with the best hand and the pre flop betting lead. Elky fires 16 6. Dario's got nothing but some backdoor draws. Not a lot he can do here. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. He can bluff. Oh, and he does. Raises to 35k. This is a really awesome raise. Dario's pretty much accurately put Elki on the exact hand he's got. For this play to be profitable, Elki only has to fold less than one out of every two and a half times. And some of those times when he does call, Dario will catch up. Elki is not a believer. Makes the call. Oh my god, this is so sick. So sick. Turn king of spades. Still nothing for anyone, and Elki checks. Elki still has the best hand. He's picked up a gut shot draw as well, but he's checking to the new aggressor. There's 100k in this pot already. Minieri checks. River. Jack of spades. Changes absolutely nothing. Elki with only ace, queen, high, but still the best hand. Now he's done, he checks. Dario may have a shot at stealing this pot if he can pull the trigger. But he checks it down. Ace high. And Elki wins 100k with the ace high. Ah, oh, I didn't need my six. What? Hour. I could have won with my six? I mean, these guys are crazy. You see what just happened right there? Ace yeah, queen. I folded a big pair. It's almost like 40,000 each one. I don't even know what it was. I know, that's so sick. I just can't. And then when I get in there, they hit two outers on me. With that pot, Elki takes the profit lead away from Massimiliano for the first time all week at 72,600. The loose cannon from Italy is the only other player above the line while the rest of the table is showing a deficit. Max has been very quiet tonight after losing over 26K on tonight's first hand, but it could be we're just not noticing him over the sound of Phil Hellmuth. One more beat for Phil, and we may have to bolt down the chairs. He fires on the river, you're gone. I'm calling you. You calling a shove on the turn? Yeah, I'm calling you a shove too. I'm shoving. If you bet yeah. less, I'm shoving, and I'm calling you a shove on the turn. No way. Yeah, I am. I'm not going to call 35 Trivial. to four, this is to Elky. The Don't you understand why he wins millions of dollars a day or whatever yeah, I'm calling, it is? I'm calling just to eat you're calling a queen? shove on the river? He was number uh, one. On the turn, on the turn, I'm going to call you a shove on the river. That is 100% insane, and I 100% believe him. Martinez with Queen Jack lays it down. Tight cannon. Helmuth, 7 5 of diamonds. Warcraft, he was number one. Okay. Poker, number one. France, hero. All right? Just sort it out. It's the truth, kid. Sort it out. It's just so sick. I mean, I just, I mean, I, I, I He knows what's going on. Minieri out, Elki in, and it's on lock. How did you fold it, Phil? Folded a big pair. Completes. I mean, it's just, it's per. So you've got a read on him, so you know when he's weak, and I know he was weak too, but you've, you're behind him. You're lying. If you know I was weak, you were raising. Four players to the flop. Seven, five, six, two clubs, Phil with two pair. Nice flop for Phil. Hits top and bottom. Locke's got the dummy gut shot. No, no, no. Bets 800. Trying to steal it. Perkins quickly raises. He's open-ended. It's a semi-bluff. Helmuth calls. You guys are playing so fast. What the f Everyone knows everything at the end of the hand. Elky's got top hair and a gut shot as well. He lays it down over to Locke. Only 3K total. Ah, you guys fight it out. Locke folds. Probably shouldn't have bet, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, probably a good general rule with the nut low. Turn, king of diamonds, Helmuth adds a flush draw. Perkins checks violently. I better bet 6,000. Call. Snap call. Straight on a flush draw, you have or what? Very possible. River, king of clubs. Bill's counterfeited. Check. Check. Check, check. Miss straight. They found a pretty bad card for me, but I still want it. Damn it, why couldn't I have caught a card? Because you catch a card and we catch several more FCC violations. <laughs> As our dealer Allison pushes the 21K pot toward Phil, who seems to find a bad beat story even when he wins. Let's see if Phil can see his stack as half full when the big game returns. I think you have to pay attention to what the younger generation's doing. You know, in 2010, I spent some time learning exactly what they think of the game. It's funny, though. All these young guys that came in with all these theories have all started to play more like the traditional way that I play. So they come in thinking they're going to play too fast. And then, you know, when they get away with it, and they win one tournament, and then they don't even cash for a year. And so they realize, wow, I better slow down. And so it's interesting to me to see that all the craziness that the online tournament pros brought to the game has now slowed down, way down. I felt like maybe that was inevitably where it was gonna be heading anyway.
Yeah, remember when everyone said no one's ever going to watch TV and movies on a tiny little computer? And then they did for a while, and now no one ever does? <laughs> wow, that just hurt. That's so brutal to watch that hand play out. I mean, I, I raised my, with... I lost $9,000 to you now. I raised with the big pair. Dario, he's re-raised me like 15 times. Look what you're winning times, with. You're winning so. with like 5'7". seven. And yeah, I put $400 in and then flopped the joint, and you gave me a bunch of money. Helmuth? King? Eight? I flopped trips against Dario. It didn't fare out so well. Dario folds. Over to Elki. King 10. Raises the 1300. Pocket deuces for lock. Calls. I bet the pot. I bet the pot. Aaron Sorkin's big game. He bet the pot? He bet the pot. <laughs> Perkins raises to 6200 with pocket tens. No one's even called down there. I know, but it doesn't matter. Over to our Italian loose cannon, Massimiliano Martinez with 9-5 of spades. What is he thinking about? Thinking about making a dramatic fold? No, he's reaching for the 5K chips, Joe. Raises to 16-6. This cannon is nuts. This is what we need to see what he has. Sick of shouting. Elky folds, locks out over to the businessman with his two tens. Makes the call. The problem with playing a pot with Perkins is that while he's spewy, he may not lay down some of the same hands other pros would. Five, tray, six, two spades, pairing a flush draw for Martinez. Action flop, Perkins with the overpair. Fires 20K. See, now we've got an overpair versus a pair and a flush draw in a three bet pot. ay ya, -yeah, that's why that bet is so big. For Massimiliano, this is a pretty clear cut spot for a raise. Perkins will sometimes just be messing around. And if not, you've got a huge piece of this board. And Max raises the 57-2. Max could have moved all in, but this is a very strong hand. How much? And he actually doesn't mind giving Perkins the opportunity to try to bluff all in. I fault. Perkins lays it down face up. I bet. And Max shows him the nine. Great bet. Either all in a fold. You're right about that one. No shame in a fold there. The cannon's profit now 96,000, and he is the smallest schoolyard bully I've ever seen. Max's winnings without showdown have now ballooned to over 200K, the most at the table by almost 50. And since the loose cannon's been able to keep the pros in the dark, they've been hesitant to look him up. Even in that spot, Max was behind but had a quarter of the deck as outs. This game is unbelievable. I can't believe I'm losing. Yeah, and I don't know how to beat it. I can't believe I'm losing. I know how to beat it, but. You can't, you can't let him hit the two outers. I don't think you know how to beat this game. <laughs> Dario just couldn't resist. If he had two nines and he just shoved there, and he just put in like 80,000, you think that's good poker because he won? No, Is that good poker because he won? Or? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that he made the move exactly? on the right moment and in the right spot, you know what I mean? OK, so, because, uh, so he's playing really good poker. So he's, play, so he's like a great player now, huh? What are you saying? You I want to hear you say what it. I'm saying. You don't well, understand. Tell me, what I'm tell saying. me. He's a great player, right? This guy? You don't understand what I'm saying. Minieri raises it up with ace queen of hearts to 1100. Ace king for Elki. Calls and lock folds an ace. Just a call with ace king. It was a great poker. I folded. He got me off a pair. Perkins calls 1100 with the queen eight, of course. Martinez, 10 5 of clubs. Is he feeling it again? Nope. Helmuth folding. Elky, the only one who's not dominated, headed to this flop. Three-way action, five queen, jack, two clubs, Minieri and Perkins with top pair. And Elky, the only one to not flop a pair. Minieri does have the best hand. And bets it. He's up like 100 again or something. <laughs> the, the young shallow monk. It's awesome. Elky calls 2100 with his gutter. Perkins quickly raises to 10K. Perkins is trying to protect his hand, but it's hard to get someone to fold a better hand or even a worse one like a draw since they're likely to have a lot of outs. It's going to be tough for Dario to fold top top on such a draw heavy board. And Minieri does call. Elky lets it go. Perkins has now bloated this pot with a marginal hand that has little chance of improving. That's it. Turn. Tray of diamonds. Dario's hand still best, but he was not the last aggressor. Checks it. Perkins fires 15K. All right, I'll ask you at home, is this a bluff or a value bet? I honestly don't know. Race. Dario thinks he knows. 
56.1 more. Minieri moves all in for 70,600. Now this is a bet with purpose. Dario's hoping Bill will sometimes make a hero call with a worse hand and sometimes he'll fold hands with equity against him. So now that 10K flop raise from Perkins may end up costing him 95K if he calls here and loses. You, you must have me beat. Yeah, I'm just gonna look in my pocket for a second. This doesn't go on the table. Let's see what I got left. Even this man's lint is worth thousands. Tell me what you have and look at my face. I bet you don't Come on, I, I can't get an edge on that because I, I'm already made my bet. I did already my bet. Oh, this should be fun. Call Are you gonna show your hand? I can't answer this now. Linda. I can't answer this now. Can she make you show your hand? I don't want him to show his hand. Oh, come oh, on, guys. Man, you got that one right. That was a good answer, because the hand's not really over. Just for agony's sake, I think your hand's worth I mean, $56,000. Now, now, I want to see your hand. He calls. Ace, queen. You, you got it. What do you have? Queen eight. How many times do you want to run? Three. OK. <sighs> so they'll see three river cards with the winner each time getting a third of the pot. Perkins has Dario covered, but he's in really bad shape. He's looking for an eight. River number one, five. Five. Okay. Chop it up. Dario wins. One for Dario. Nice try with the whole chop it up thing. Name by fold an eight. Nope. No. He didn't have any eights. I got, I got to give you good news. All the eights still in play. River number two, tray of spades. So Dario locks up almost 112,000 so far. Come on. Oh, good we talking, Dario. Shot for an eight. For my friend, one time for Texas, an eight for Texas. This game's Texas? sick. Texas, you River number three. Goes to Dario. Take it. Ship full cargo to the Italian. And with that hand, our two Italians are atop the leaderboard. How can I be losing in this game, Lee? They ship 80,000 with one pair at this table. All right, let's rebuy, rebuy. Remember, you can rebuy for up to 500,000, Billy boy. So the businessman solicits some new investors as Dario capitalizes on Bill's fire sale. See if the crash continues when the big game returns. Welcome back to Vegas, where Dario Minieri has just added more than $86,000 to his stack and gone from the negative to the positive, courtesy of the businessman, Bill Perkins, who's now in for almost $300,000 after just reaching into his pocket for another $115K. The extra fifteen k is a bad sign. There is just a difference between me and you. Yes. You can dodge bullets. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Very good one, very good one. I like that. Say again, say again. There is only one difference between me and you. He can dodge bullets, baby. Dodge, dodge bullets. <laughs> what means? <laughs> dodge bullets, baby. We pro you at Filippo. Dodge bullets. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> In Italy, Phil is known as the poker bambino. <laughs> Action will be on Elki. Pocket eights. Queen eight of what? Huh? I had queen eight of diamonds. When Dario, when you yeah, had two eights, eights I had queen eight of diamonds. Dario. How, can, how is that possible? Elky raised to 1,300, 10-5 for lock. Was I have queen eight of diamonds? I had queen, eights, so I I had really queen seven of diamonds. I don't know what it was. I had you nothing. Had I had air. Okay. No, I had air. air. I had queen Calls. nine. Hot, 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 hot. Spoken like a man is truly steaming. What is it? Perkins raises to 6,400 with ace rag. Martinez out, Helmuth out. Action on Dario with jack six. I think you were talking to create a bluff. Folds. I was trying to bluff you. Yeah, He's trying you to bluff? You are talking to create a bluff. You were like, right. he's going to call, he's going to end any bluff. Yeah. But I wasn't falling because you might ballot that a king with me. Can we move? Elky calls 5,100. Over to lock. I don't want to say this call would be loose, but uh, yeah, it'd be pretty loose. Lock folds. Me and the Italians, a love affair. No, Italian. He's French. <laughs> Two players of the flop, 4-10-4 rainbow. Pretty not bad flop for Elky. Checks it. Never know what the businessman has. He bets 5000 That's a Wayne's World bet. I, I, I got $5,000. Swing. He's got $5,000 there. Elky calls. <laughs> Probably got more other than me, but. Turn, deuce of spades. Still kind of a check call board for two eights. And Elky does check. Perkins just doubled his out, so he's going to want to take advantage of that monster 14% equity. That's 12 k with his gut shot. Yes, Elky, that was the proper response. Elky calls. Calling me down with best hand. No. I don't think so. I mean, maybe you do. I better, I better slow down. To the river. Five of hearts, and Bill Perkins won't be slowing down now. He hits his gut shot. Luck box. 
Elky checks it. Still playing this one very cautiously. It's in the pot. I don't know if he's... Right now. Runner, runner, wheel is going to be pretty disguised. Perkins can maybe extract some value here. Bet's 25K. This is far from a standard spot. Perkins plays weird, and there hasn't been a ton of help from the board, so Elky just might pay this off. Elky? Bolts. You fold it? Show a bluff. I can't show a bluff. I showed a river. I can show a river saved my ass. Show it, come on. Here's ace three. He's right. Perkins shows it. Nice weaver. I figure I had I had a lot I had a lot of outs. A whole half dozen. Perkins wins a pot worth almost 75k. Joe, this guy plays like his hair's on fire. If he had any. Where do you think it went? The businessman's obscene 73% VPIP is 20% more than the next highest player. Bill's been calling a ton of raises from the get-go, and his 2.3 aggression factor is second at the table. Well, Perkins style hasn't worked out so far this week since he's down more than 140,000 and falling fast. I wonder if when the businessman walks into the office, everyone greets him as the poker man. <laughs> hey man, don't splash the pork bellies. 9 8 for Max. Folds it. Standard fold under the gun. Jack 9 for Helmuth. Limps. Minieri with King 10. None of this limp nonsense for Dario. Pumps it up to 1500. A 6 for Elke. He's out. Phil Lock gone. And Perkins will make the call. Of course. Helmuth's in. We got three way action to the flop which is tame for this table. Deuce, 8-8, eight, eight, rainbow. Dude, Max with a flop trips. Don't rub it. Perkins and his deuce have actually flopped best. Yeah. And he checks it. Helmuth passes. Dario had the pre-flop lead. It's checked to him in position. Seems fairly ob. Bet's 2,200. A call here would be fine. I really hope he's not trying to raise right now. Oh, but he does to 6,600 with his eights and deuces. This is a protection raise in a spot that really doesn't warrant it. It's basically me have best hand, me raise, which isn't always the best approach. Tough to get action from a worse hand. Helmuth out of the way. Back on Dario Minieri. Repops to 16,000. And now this pot is huge. What is it to me? And if Perkins calls, he's going to hate just about every turn card. And he does make the call. It's the correct call, but he's made this pot huge with just a pair of deuces. Turn queen of hearts. Perkins checks. See if Dario wants to keep barreling. He does not. Dario may have realized there's no getting Perkins off his hand. Ten of hearts and Dario rivers the best hand with tens and eights and a king kicker. Perkins bets 10k. Perkins rivered a second pair, but his deuce is counterfeit. Since I could never see a worse hand calling, I guess this is meant to be a bluff. Show me one card and I might call. We both show one card. This is a deal. We do show one card. Fine. We both show one card. Okay. okay. You get to pick it. Okay. I pick? I pick the one cl the closest to you. Okay, and I pick this. Okay, go. So ahead. I show? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Show. Go. Dario turns over his 10 and Perkins deuce. Wow. I got full house. Can I see again? <laughs> Now you're raising Dario. He should raise. <laughs> now he's raising. Now he's raising your ass. That would be so sick. You can do whatever he wants. Well, Dario's beating the card he can see. Seems like at least a call. You're looking at my money. <laughs> okay, you bluff me. I fold. You fold? Wow, he folds. I have the best hand, actually. You might chop it. <laughs> you might chop it. Nice hand, mate. Don't say he never did anything for you. Dario gifting Perkins a pot of over 47K. Chips were flying this time. Tips are flying. The price of poker has gone up. Still no idea what happened there. When we get back, we'll see if Dario can unlevel himself. Welcome back to the big game where Massimiliano Martinez trails Gonzalez Cannon by over 55,000 for the Loose Cannon Trophy and the NAPT Passport. If Max doesn't catch Gonzo but is able to survive all 150 hands, he'll still take home any profit above the initial 100 grand he was staked. Meanwhile, Phil Locke is hoping just to sniff a profit. He's just added another 150K and is in for 300,000 overall. Locke acts all a fool, but he's no dummy. He wants to have the biggest stacks covered in case he wants to play a big pot. Okay, I'm stuck 50 times. I'm only up for like 30, it's so sick. I don't know what happened. Italy happened. 10 deuce for Martinez, folds. 
Kalmuth, a king, and another king. Phil had Queen's cold deck by Bill Perkins kings earlier in the week. I see virtually no way Phil could lose with these kings. And he min raises over to Minieri. Makes the call with the ace five suited. Elky out. It's usually where you raise it up on my Dario. Yeah, he wanted Dario to three bet. No such luck. Queen four for lock. Folds. Cost me four bucks to play. Perkins calls with the 10 seven. I get to play against my new target. <laughs> How many targets you have? Dang it! OMG, I think Phil's jealous. To the flop, ace, ace, queen, and Dario has run down Phil again. Bye bye, kings. I check. Perkins checks. As does Helmuth. I know. <laughs> checks around. Dario trapping the trapper. Turn. Five of diamonds, full boat for Dario. Now, even if Phil hits his king, he still loses. Check. <laughs> Perkins checks. I better bet. I got a. You better bet something. 1,200. Helmuth bets 1,200. Helmuth runs worse than a 78 pacer. Dario could raise here, but he has virtually nothing to protect against, and he doesn't want to chase his action away. Minieri calls. I better fold. And Perkins is done with it. Phil's soon to be done with this whole game. Jack of diamonds on the end. How much will he fire into the abyss? 28. Phil now guaranteed to lose at least another $2,800. Dario knows he's raising, and he knows how much. He's just mentally preparing himself for the verbal abuse he's about to incur. Dario makes it 6,600. This is a really kind of unreal night, huh? Wow, how can this happen every time I'm in the game here? Now, Phil doesn't do himself many favors, but he runs worse than a hot chick in a horror movie. And the carnage is unfortunately just as entertaining. I guess you got me. Let me say I'm I got you, I got you. Never bluff. Dario takes it down. Ace five. That's good. Bill shows the kings. Good, the king didn't come on the river. Look at that silver lining, huh? It's f unbelievable. This kid was drawn to a two outer on me, and a three outer, and a four outer. And you got pocket kings? Outer. Yeah, pocket Showed kings. It. I only lost 10,000, so it's pretty like good. That's astounding. It's astounding. Then you only lost. You think I ever win? You think I ever win in this game with kings or queens? They always hit their freaking weird card. You know that weird card, the ace. <laughs> Dario continues to get the best of Phil as he's up more than fifty-five thousand for the week. But they're all chasing Max, who leads the way with exactly one hundred k in profit. With one night still to go, the loose cannon has a reasonable shot to catch Gonzo for the NAPT passport. So the question is, which does he value more, protecting that profit or going for the passport? Wow, guys, what a crazy night, huh? Phil, do you have a plan for tomorrow night? I mean, I do, but I mean, we're running out of hands. I have 30 hands left. I, it's, yeah. I can't believe I'm losing. I mean, these guys ship like 100,000 with top pair every time, and I'm losing in the game. It's Max, nothing. are you thinking about the passport? Uh, no, I don't think about <laughs> nothing. <laughs> He's never thinking about anything. That's it for tonight. I'm Amanda Leatherman saying goodbye for now, and remember, if you've got the cash and the guts, there's always a seat open at the big game. Good night, everybody. Another night in the books and one more night of explosive poker is sure to come. For Joe Stapleton, this is Scott Huff saying so long from Vegas. Next time on The Big Game, will Max bring his hundred grand home to Italy? I just want to have fun. I don't care about money so much. Or will he blow it all in search of the ultimate prize? After this fold, everybody call me And what gets the poker brat so agitated? It's nice, huh? Okay, is it nice? That is quite nice. That makes the Unabomber want to give him a hug. It's unbelievable how, how often you have bad etiquette. I know, whatever. It all happens tomorrow night on The Big Game. All right, this is where people start doing stupid things, I think. The following program is sponsored by PokerStars.com.